Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming back to you from RE Plus 2023, the International Solar Conference here in Las Vegas. Uh, and today I'm taking a look at the new Dynas Residential Energy Storage System. Uh, now guys, as you know, the, the home residential energy storage system uh, space is getting a lot of competition and there's a lot of new players that are entering into this space. Uh, a lot of them with very significant corporate and financial backing, even though they might be new brands in the U.S. residential market. Now in today's video, we're taking a look at the Dynas residential energy storage system, which is comprised of three main components. The first is the residential inverter. Now the inverter, of course, is gonna do your, your main DC to AC inversion. Uh, it's also where your battery is going to connect in and your solar is going to connect in uh, here as well. They also have the SCD, what, or what they call the smart control device. Now I, I know each of the manufacturers has a, a bit of a unique name for this, but this is basically the transfer switch. So this is what allows you to isolate a portion of the home or all of the home from the grid and provide secure backup power into the home. Uh, and then of course, finally, we have the Orion battery. Uh, and the Orion battery is a modular lithium iron phosphate battery unit that comp is comprised of the battery management system or the battery man management unit, and then one or many battery storage modules. So let's go ahead and talk about the inverter first, because the inverter really is kind of the main engine uh, of the system. And, and this again is consistent with the, the trend that we're seeing here, which is convergence onto one platform. You know, in the old days, you might have a battery from one company, you might have a, a switch from a different company, you have an inverter from another company, and a monitoring system from a different manufacturer altogether. Now what we're seeing is convergence of all of these components onto one brand, and typically it's the inverter that is kind of the main central piece uh, of that system. Now, with the Dynas solution, uh, this is a DC coupled solution, meaning that you can take DC power direct from your solar panels on the roof uh, and feed in to the Dynas inverter here, uh, and it does come in many different sizes. So on the low end, you have the 5,000 watt. On the high end, you have an 11.4 kilowatt. And of course, that refers to the AC power rating. In, ter in terms of the DC power that you can feed into it, you have overload capacity of 150%, meaning that, let's say for the 10,000 watt AC rated inverter, you can put 15,000 watts of solar panels uh, up to connected to it, uh, coming in on the DC side. Uh, but it comes in a lot of the common sizes that you've, you've seen from some of the other central inverter manufacturers. You have a 5,000 watt, a 6,000 watt, a 7.6 kW, uh, again, all the way up to 11.4 on the high end. Now, a necessary component for any solar power battery backup system is some kind of a transfer switch. Uh, again, they all kind of have different names for it. Franklin calls theirs the A-Gate, Enphase calls theirs the IQ system controller. But you have to have some way that you can isolate your home from the electric grid so that solar and battery power, uh, secure power can be energized into the home without risking putting live voltage back out on the electric grid. If the electric grid is unstable, there could be linesmen working on the, those power lines. So that's what the, the SCD, that's what the smart control device does. Um, and their, their uh, solution supports one of two configurations. You can do partial home backup um, all the way up to a full, full home backup, whole house transfer switching mechanism. So that's what the SCD does here. Uh, typically this box is gonna be on the outside of the house close to your electric meter or where your main electrical service comes in. Uh, of course the inverter is rated for outdoor mounting as well. This is NEMA 4X rated, so this can be in a sort of extreme wet location. It does not have to be sheltered. Uh, and then, of course, you have the battery storage. Right? Now, the Dynas Orion uh, battery system uh, uses, as, as many of the new battery products, it does use the newer, safer, more durable lithium iron phosphate chemistry. And what that means is that the batteries run cool. They're, they're perfectly safe for indoor use. There's no risk of like this thermal runaway where the batteries can catch on fire. And so that's why for home battery applications, the lithium iron phosphate chemistry is really the preferred chemistry. Uh, but it also means that you get more durability on the battery. 
And so in the case of the Dynas Orion battery, it comes standard with a 10-year warranty for up to 10,000 cycles. So when we talk about cycle, we're talking about how many times can you drain the battery down and charge it back up again until you're out of warranty. So with the Dynas system standard, 10 years, 10,000 cycles. Now, this is a modular battery. And you can see on the display here, we have two of the battery modules plus the battery management unit or the battery control system. Uh, and this particular configuration is the 9.9 .9 kilowatt hour configuration. However, you can add up to four battery modules per inverter system. So right now with the two battery modules, we have a 9.9 .9 kilowatt hour configuration. If we added a third battery module, which would, we would have to add a second stack, that would take us to 14.9 kilowatt hours, or if we added a fourth battery module, it would take us all the way up to 19.9 kilowatt hours. So the, the system is expandable. It is modular, but it is expandable, so you can start small and then expand the battery capacity as needed. Uh, and then, of course, in most cases, you can stack multiple inverters if you have to go beyond. So you have up to four modules per inverter. If you have to add capacity beyond that, you add a second inverter, and then you can go up to an additional four battery modules to give you the capacity that you need. So, so again, folks, this new offering from Dynas, what they call the, the, the Dynas Home Energy System with the Orion battery, yeah, right in line with the trend that we're seeing, which is that we want to see all the components that make up the renewable energy system uh, uh, kind of speaking the same language. Everything is integrated tightly, so the battery knows what the inverter's doing, the inverter knows what the electric grid's doing, and the entire system runs together seamlessly with a single app that you can use to track the performance of the system. So folks, this has been an introduction to the new Dynas Home Energy System with the Orion battery. Um, as always, folks, if you're getting good value from the uh, videos that we have here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way you can stay up to date with us. You know, the reason that we're here at the RE Plus show and other shows like this is to make sure that you guys have the most up-to-date, most accurate information on solar products and solar technologies. Uh, of course, if you're in the process of getting solar power options for your home or looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote or maybe you already have a price quote, you just need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the best deal, um, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there, set up a quick Zoom call with one of our solar experts, and we'd be happy to get some pricing and some information for you. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.